Hey Twigs, it's Lego Stick and Tech Skull here, recording another IRL video for you guys. And today we're doing a special episode of a Lego review. It's the second episode, and we're going to be reviewing this whole street. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to be doing it in this order, and I've got a few announcements to make at the end of the video. Um, so, yeah, I'll start off by saying it is the 1st of February today, and it was on the 26th, it was my birthday. So I got um, a few Lego sets from that, so... I might be doing a few more uh, reviews um, lately, but yeah, that's just something. So I'll start off with this one. Um, this is the Grand Emporium. Professional. Um, and this is £140, or at least when I got it. I haven't checked recently. Um, but yeah, so uh, with all of these, the um, levels come off. And they have uh, really good things inside. So, yeah. So. <laughs> ah, don't worry. This happened a few times. Anyway. Back to the video, I suppose. Um, yeah. This includes revolving doors, which are very, very cool. It's got. This isn't going very well, is it? Ah, <laughs> uh, who cares? Um, so, you've got. These sort of mannequins, I think they're called here. Who cares? Yeah, that one doesn't come off very well. But yeah, he's, that one's also got a dress, but that kind of sticks to the thing because you know how dresses are made in Lego. You've also got this guy here, um, who's like the dad, I suppose. Um, he's looking for perfume because, you know, that's what men do. And then you've got like escalators up here. You've got uh, changing rooms in here, which is. I think they're quite cool. This one is, um, um, yeah, the, sometimes they don't really stick together very well, but that's, um, yeah, I'll, yeah, uh, um, so yeah, this one comes with, um, two of these, like, wine glasses that are green, so they, they look quite cool. Um, you've got two plates like that, um, yeah, you've got these two minifigures, that one's holding a knife because she wants to kill you, and this one's just like someone else, yeah, and yeah, so, also comes with another, um, like, escalator thing up there, uh, see what I'm saying, they don't really fit together very well, but, uh, yeah, um, so now we got the third level, which I think is the best, it's got the toy section, don't know if you can see that, uh, yep get a good look in there um yes okay so yeah so it comes with three toys so it's got a bike uh, two bowling balls or whatever they are and a little toy house you've got this really cool chandelier um I think it looks really good anyway um, and then you've got the final level, which is complete with a skylight. And then you've got this, which, uh, as you probably saw, uh, it fell apart. Also got this guy, which clean who cleans the windows. Um, yeah. So that is the first one, the Grand Emporium. It's really, really good. Um, so, yeah. And now we got the next set, which is probably the, one of the best in, like, because it's got two houses in one. I think that looks pretty cool how they've done it. But I'll start off. This is this set's called the um, the pet shop because it comes with a pet shop and a townhouse, obviously. And so yeah. Um, so th the um, townhouse doesn't seem to want to come apart. Ah, there you go. And if you see inside. It's quite cool, and if you have noticed, it's got sort of, it's kind of raised up from the ground. You raise me, yeah. Anyway, uh, and then, so that is because you've got a whole basement underneath, which you can't even go in. Once I got a minifigure trapped in there, so I had to take her part of the whole bottom floor to get the minifigure out. Yellow. Um, then as well, inside, you've got this bit which comes up, the floorboards actually come up underneath, so yeah. Um... And so you can actually look inside from down there. And then you've got a toilet underneath the stairs. 
don't know if you can see it. I'm not going to get that out because that takes ages to get back in. Um, anyway, it comes with a hat as well. This level is quite cool because it's got basically nothing in it except for that. So yeah, we've got a little painter, yeah. Cool. Uh, and then you've got the final section, which is complete with a rooftop garden, yeah. And these doors open, I've forgotten which way, there you go. <laughs> Haven't used these in ages. Um, and yeah, so you've got like a balcony outside, which is pretty cool. Don't see how they got all them plants up there, because that will be a nightmare to water. But you know. And then obviously you've got the roof. Um, which I think has a parrot on it on the picture. I, I don't know. I don't know one of them does. Probably this one because this is the pet shop. Comes with this one. This minifigure who's on a bike which I lost for three years I want to say. I can't really remember. But I lost that for ages. Turned out it was right in front of me. But you know. Yeah, I know. Um, and then, so yeah, with each of these you get like a little lamp, which I think is quite cool because they fit together. Um, one doesn't want to come apart either. Oh. Okay, I'll take the roof off first one, I suppose. Um, sorry about this, this is really not going very well. Um, yeah, sometimes you'll find that when you take them apart, some of the tiles get stuck together, but that's not that important. So yeah, you've got those stairs which come from there to there. You've got a little frog up there which I think looks quite cool. So like an uh, piece. And then you've got the ladders which go up to reveal a little doggy. Um, you've got a cat inside here. Once there used to be a spider in there, in that hole that like the, you can feed the cat out of. So yeah. What's the cat? Can you see the cat? Yep, you can see the cat. Good. You've also got a fish tank and two parrots. I think parrots look quite cool. Oh. Uh, I suppose I'll just take that off. Uh, uh, yeah, you got parrots. You know, Lego parrots always look the best. Better than real parrots. You know? Yeah. They're probably Scarlet Macaws. Don't really know. But anyway, now you've got this section where the owner, who is. I'll get the owner up. He's, he's in the. This is the owner of the whole shop. He um he like lives in this area. He's got a chimney there. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, you've got like a miniature kitchen over here. And he's got uh, stairs which go up into this section, which is quite cool. They like keep the chimney going, and he's got a bed there. And then obviously <sighs> got the roof. I'm guessing this review will probably be the biggest modular buildings review ever because I don't think anyone's actually done this before with reviewing all of them. But I suppose I'll find out. No, oh, yeah. Um, sorry, just OCD is killing me. <laughs> oh. And the dog is dead. Uh. Okay, sorry about that. This is probably the second level of this is probably one of the most detailed of all the buildings I've got. Ah! Okay. Um, so this one comes with a car, which um, when getting this whole street out, I dropped and it smashed all over the floor. It was brilliant. So fun. Uh, uh, it comes with a flag as well. Let's see if I can get this flag off. Yeah, it comes with a flag. The American flag. Except it doesn't have stars. It's only got three stripes, really. But, you know. And then you got this, like, civilian. And you got that thing which comes down. And then, if you can see inside, because this is a lot bigger, you've got the stairs there, which kind of... You've got a clock, and then you've got a lot of other sign of kind of rubbish stuff that's not of any interest, really. And then you've got the best level ever. Oh, just... You've got all of that. It comes with um, a ping pong table, and you've even got the bats there. I just stick them in there for safekeeping. I'll just take that back. Nope. Um, yeah, anyway, it comes with a little a 
clock, I think that is. I can't really tell. It's got a fridge like, in there as well. I think it's got food in it. I'll have a look. Yeah, it's got a... Oh. Okay. Uh, nothing's going right today, I suppose. Um, yeah, you got a sofa as well, and that's all pretty cool. Oh, God. Sorry. Um, not brilliant, is it? And then you've got the roof, which has a, like, a bell tower in it, and you've got this kind of water tank, I suppose that's what it is. I don't really know. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool set, um... Yeah, oh, it's not really put together very well, is it? Oh, sorry about this, guys. This isn't going very well. Um, and then you've got the green grocers. Uh, this one is the earliest that I've got. Um, there's two other ones that I haven't got yet, but then they have been discontinued and they are very expensive and I'm never going to get them. Well, at least I'm probably not. If I do get them, then it'll be a miracle. So, yeah, this is the green grocers. Really cool. Um, uh, like a door that opens, you got. Sorry, don't know why that piece was on there. Uh, you got a little pram, I think that's what you call it. I'm not really good with any of that stuff. Um, apples and grapes. You got red grape and green grape. Yeah. Oh, kind of hung. Um. Ah, uh, yeah. And then you've got. This, um, yeah, this set has been discontinued now. I bought it when it was discontinued. I think the fire brigade has also been discontinued. Um, I don't really know. But yeah, this is like the owner of the shop. Um, and if you look inside, you've got, um, like vending machines there. Um, you've even got this area, which is, um, I think it's just weird. Because you've got, like, post boxes. And then even in there, like, where you can't even see it, you've got a mouse. And even if you, like, get down and try and look inside, it's really, really hard to see anyway. So I don't see why they've done that. Yeah. Um. Oh. As well. Um. Sorry, this is not professional at all. Um. Forgot to show you the back of these. Um. So, yeah, you've got these doors which open. Um. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Um. You've got the doors which open to let the cars through on that one. And I don't think I showed you the back of this one. So yeah, you've got the uh, like the mouse and you've got stuff at the back, okay? Um, professional. Affordable. Yeah. Uh, also, I'm going to give a shout out again at the end of the video. Um, if you noticed my laugh there, yeah, you'll understand why in a minute. You've got this guy here. He's like, ah, he's going to jump. Except he's not going to jump. His cat's going to jump. Because look, it's built like that. The cat is meant to be there. Um, and then you've got like a chimney there. Chimney Swift. Uh, yeah, if anyone knows who he is, then it's kind of obvious because a lot of people know who he is. Um, except not people that are interested in Lego. More people that are interested in Minecraft. And that piece is bent. Ah. Interesting. Uh, okay. Just noticed this is quite old now, so not too old, but in the, this is oh, this is in the order that I bought them almost. So yeah, and this is the third one. So you've got this kind of decorative piece at the top. Um, got a grandfather clock. You've got a radiator. You've got stairs which go up to the balcony at the top. Um, you got this kind of midget. Yeah, uh, looking at the clock don't know why and then finally you've got the roof which is uh, quite a tall roof it's got hammers um, or whatever they are um, on these kind of leg skeletal leg pieces um, and then on there you've got a door which opens out to here you've got this minifigure here who's kind of like at the barbecue and then so yeah you got the barbecue there and then you got table stuff there. yes um, Next one, I suppose. Oh, yeah, and also, you've got like this kind of thing which goes down there, which you typically find in American buildings. Um, yeah. I will put that over here. Ah, 
now get the tallest one in town hall. Oh, this is a 150 quid. Ah, oh, I forgot. To, ooh. There's a piece on the floor. Obviously, one of them is missing a piece, but I'll figure that out in the, at the end of the video. So, yeah. Also, as I forgot to say, um, this set is 120 quid. Um, this uh, uh, pet shop. Oops. This one, uh, the fire brigade, was a hundred quid. Uh, I think it's been discontinued now, so it's probably a lot more. And the green grocers was um, when I bought it, three hundred twenty-five quid. Um, so yeah, it's quite expensive when I bought it, and it's going to be even more expensive now because um, it's been discontinued. I think it was a hundred quid when it was before it was discontinued. Uh, this one is one hundred fifty quid. It is the town hall, and it is the tallest so far of all the modular buildings. So yeah. Um, you got this guy with it, um, yeah, he's just at the top cleaning the bell tower thing. You know, I don't even know what this is all happening. Um, I don't know what's going on at the moment. Um, yeah, the bell tower thing comes off. Um, yeah, and... Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh. Okay, I might as well just give the shout out now. Um, Jess Mook uh, on YouTube. Um, yeah, she's just doing all the filming. She's my sister. Yeah. Anyway, so you got this. It looks quite cool on the front. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you got all of that. You got doors which open there, and you've got the. Um, oh. Audi. Oh, Theatre, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, Omni Theatre, whatever. I don't, I've forgotten what it's called. It's been a while since I've ever had to use this set. Um, actually, probably the last time I ever really went into this set was when I did film my first Lego stop motion animation of the um, Monster Fighters Epic Stop Motion Animation, uh, episode one. If you recognize the amphitheatre, no, that's Greek, um, uh, <laughs> that's ancient Greece. Just completely wrong there, just don't don't worry about that. You've actually got a lift, which I forgot to um, show you. I'll show you in the next one. You've got a cool waiting room outside the lift, and then you've got... Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, you might as well be looking at the actual set there. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got um, just mayhem going on in here, I suppose. I haven't really checked anything. So, yeah, you've got the mayor's office with his little pet frog. It's actually meant to be a statue, but I think it's a pet frog. Um, you got the... Mayor, of course, he's running in, he's like, ah. You've got the uh, photographer there, which I, I love the camera there, it just looks so cool. Um, you've got the, uh, we've got the bride there, you've got the groom there, and you got, oh, and you've got the kind of like accountant, I think that's what you call it. I, I'm really bad with English, as you can probably tell. Well, I'm not that bad, but I'm, I'm kind of bad at all of this stuff. Anyway, yeah, we got the lift there, so yeah, that kind of goes in there. It's kind of cool because it actually goes up and down. And yeah, that's the second level. I think that's everything. It comes with the balcony as well. You probably can tell. And it's got like a way you can look down onto the. I'm just gonna call it an amphitheater. You know, I know it's wrong, but it might not even be wrong. If it's not wrong, then that is just YOLO, right? Uh, Sorry for saying YOLO, but I just like saying YOLO, because YOLO swag, 420. Um, anyway, and the third level has got some cheeky children in it. You've got that one looking at the globe. She's like, oh, I want to look at what well, looks like South Af South America, not Africa. Um, and <laughs> just all these signals at the moment, it's just, it's just confusing me. Um, and then this is like a brother. Ah, that way we do about. Ha. Yeah, and then you have got like the table where the mayor and all those will sit, and then you got that. Yeah, um, yeah, <laughs> that was kind of. Yeah, um, and then obviously we've got the roof with a skylight and this uh, janitor's kind of area thing where you can store all your stuff, and then the thing the clock can move and it's got a little yeah I just added that in for fun you know because YOLO right 
Um, right. So, okay. Um, sorry about that. Something kind of went weird with the camera, but you don't need to worry about that. It's all going to be taken care of. Um, so, yeah, this is the back. And as you can see, it's only got four studs in there. So, that this one is the thickest as well, I think. Um, well, except for that one, but then that one is obviously going to be the thickest because that's a corner one. Oh, sorry about this, guys. Um, just a minute. I'm going to put this one back. I'm going to get the newest one. Um, okay, just, is, ah, there you go. And now this one, um, if you notice it, then well done. But, yeah, this is the smallest, I think. Well, apart from that, yeah. This is the second smallest. Um, and I think, yeah, this came off. Okay, so this piece here, the clam, because I, you meant to just hold it there, and then you meant to keep it like that, without actually opening it again, and I was an idiot, I opened it again, and now it won't close properly for a long period of time, it might just pop open, if it doesn't pop open, then yay, but uh, yeah, so, as always, it comes with a, that's interesting, this one's kind of raised up, you raise me up, um, from the ground, and it's kind of like, yeah, so that's, that's interesting, um, yeah, very interesting. This is called the Chez Albert, or as I like to say, Chez Albert. Um, it comes complete with a menu. This is the... Yeah. Sorry, um, yeah, this is my sister again. Uh, yeah, this is the Parisian restaurant, as I may have already said. I don't even know if I did or not. Um, this is the most recent one, it uh, came out just actually a month ago, yeah, exactly a month ago. Um, <laughs> so, sorry, if you're wondering what's going on behind the camera, um, I don't even know. Um, so yeah, you've got something pretty cool, which I don't know, but I'll just raise, you raise me up. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, it actually says Chez on the bottom, or C H E Z, I think. Does it? Or, yeah, C H E Z on the floor of that. So yeah, that's like you won't see it because there's all tables and chairs in the way. But yeah, inside you've got the uh, waiter who's carrying around that, and I love how the plate is because that's actually Boromir's shield from the Lord of the Rings. Maybe somebody else's shield as well, but I prefer Boromir. It comes with a turkey. Now, now, everything's perfect when you've got a turkey. It just, just be honest. Comes with a chef with a knife, so he's like, ah. Comes with a full kitchen, even with a pie. Look. Pie, 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 pie. 3.1417, I think, is pie, but yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. So then you got this guy, like, and then you got like the couple here. Oh, our heads come off! Yay! Fun times. Oh, yeah, you got like the couple there. He's about to propose. He's like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. um. Anyway, uh, this one, this level is like, uh, so you got two pieces to put on to this level. You got this, which is like the um upstairs dining area if you think yeah anyway uh yeah so that just goes on to there and it breaks brilliant uh don't think anything actually broke though actually brilliant well the turkey kind of came off but what <laughs> what's going on <laughs> okay i'm not even gonna ask um oh that broke uh <laughs> okay this is really going well this is probably going to be my longest episode once it's all been edited. Um, okay, and then you've got this bit, which you can kind of go through in the upstairs dining area. If, like, oh yeah, so you can kind of go from there to up there. And then um, you, through here is like this area where you've even got a Murphy bed. I think I think they call it a Murphy bed. That's what I said on the Lego review on the actual thing. But you know, yeah, so that kind of just folds into the wall. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that goes there. I'll show you the, the back of it. This is 133 qu 
quid. It's a pretty cool set. And then this one, this like um level is the roof. You don't say. Um and then it kind of like you got this girl who's just like yellow swag, right? And she's like she wants to be a painter, but it, let's be honest, if you can see those paintings in there, is that going to get her far? Don't know whether that's good or not in the actual Lego world, but uh. then you've even got like this furnace here, um, which has got you, you can't actually see it, but it's got actual little fire inside it, like real fire. You'll burn your face off. And then yeah, you've got the door which opens to there, and you got a little plant. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. <coughs> Sorry. And then in the back, you've got. A bin with rubbish in. I think it's got two bones, two grapes, and two of something else. Um, then you got like vines which go up there. <laughs> vines. Yeah. And you got all of that. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what's going on with this. Anyway. I'll take this over here. If this smashed on camera. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to say. This is a very important set because it comes with a scooter. Yeah, it's the first set ever to include this scooter, which is, I think, is quite cool. Okay, um, this, this street has just gone, this, I don't even know right now. Um, and so, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is just. And here we are on the final set, um, the Palace Cinema. I think that's what you call it. Um, so yeah, this is another corner one. Comes with a photographer. Yes, can you see him? Yeah, yeah, cool. Um, comes with a limousine, which I think looks really cool. It's probably one of the best cars I've ever seen. Um, and it's a limousine. Ha. Um, and in the limousine, you have got the child actress or actor or whatever, and then you've got the um, Driver. It comes with two sort of lamps to show, like, wee! And yeah, I've got these two things to, like, get rid of people. It even comes with a walk of fame, like the stars and stuff. I've forgotten what it is. it a walk of fame? Yeah, just, yeah, <laughs> my sister just nodded in the background. Um, oops. What's going on? Help! Look! And I'll show you that when it comes to it, but that's quite weird. I didn't even notice that before. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've been in here and like inside this. But um, yes, though this actually comes with like a flower inside a inside there. I think it's a flower. I don't even know. But yeah, it comes with a plant. It got it's got doors which open outwards onto the street. Um, I think it looks quite cool inside. And then this bit. Is like where you can store all your ammo. So you, that actually comes off and it's really easy to put back because look, you just stick one side in, flip it round, do the other one. So yeah, it's really easy. And then you can just go that. Uh, oh. And first time it's ever broke and it's on camera. Brilliant. Oh my god, I, I seem to have actually stored some ammo inside it. Obviously, not real ammo, just Lego pieces. Yeah, oh, I may as well just stick that back on anyway. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm kind of scared. Anyway, and then this is the actual cinema. It comes with a actual screen, which I think is quite cool. Um, and then it's got two people in there. It's got that one, and then the worst decision ever made by Lego. This character, because if you look from the pet shop. No, no, no. <laughs> You've got these characters. And look, the only difference is their legs. Their legs are just slightly different coloured. Yeah. So, just... Uh. We've got which one's which now. Yay. Professional. Affordable. Um, so, yeah, you got them too. And then you've got this guy who's like... Oh, his chair came off. Anyway, um, he's he's like the guy who owns everything. And he's just like the boss. And he, he can control the screen. Yeah. Anyway... And then you've got the final level, which my sister broke once. And, um, 
uh, yeah, it just it's just like there's it looks really cool on there, and then on, on the back you've got like a door which opens up like that to let people actually go onto the roof. You, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's not it's not on properly. No, what's happened? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh God, what's going on? Um, sorry about this. Professional, affordable. Um, I don't know why I keep on saying that. Don't even know what it's from. I know it's from like an advert, or whatever, from my like thing. Anyway, this isn't going back together. Um, so I might just need to do something quickly. Um, yeah. Uh, just a minute. So, yeah guys, um, sorry about that, uh, camera kind of ran out of battery, so the lighting might be different. But anyway, yeah, so, just to end the video, um, yeah, we are going to have, this is kind of like a channel update, I might make another, like, separate video just for this, but, uh, it was Christmas, uh, one month and one week ago, and I got a laptop for Christmas. So... I'm, I've got Minecraft on it, obviously, and so I might actually be doing more videos on the, from the computer, so that is, like, channel update, yeah, okay, and then also, there was something else, uh, ah, who cares, um, but yeah, the reason I was doing this, um, I did ask last episode, OCD, um, if anyone wanted me to bring this series back, then please comment and no one commented well we have one comment which is from the person behind the camera saying thanks for the shout out um, and <laughs> and yeah so I wasn't gonna bring it back but then at school uh, someone actually said um, it was really good and they wanted some uh, some like more videos of this so yeah so that's why I brought it back and hopefully it's gonna continue um, Obviously, if you don't want it, then just say that you don't want it to continue, and that'll be fine. But, yeah, guys, as always, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Um, leave a like. I think I've reached nine subscribers uh, recently. Sorry, my sister's kind of messing around with the camera. And, um... So, yeah, thank you for everything, and it's always really appreciated. Please comment saying uh, if... If you want me to do a Lego review of a certain set, um, then if you comment down in the comment section below, then, um, uh, yeah, if I've got it, then I will. So, yeah, as always, guys, thank you, and goodbye.